Hi guys, today I'm going to do my March project pan finale and that sounds so, so strange, but I have not been filming, um, so I definitely missed April and May's. I thought I had done an April's, um, and so I didn't like, like think about starting another one. Um, but I guess I didn't. So last one I can find is March. So I thought I would update you and then we can start a June project pan. It'll probably be up in about a week because I have a bunch of empties to show you on Thursday. So um, we're just going to get started with the products. I'm really excited, um, like I said, to share these with you because it has been since March. Um, March 19th was the last, like my update, when my update went up. So yeah, I'm really excited to share this with you. Um, I had finished a blush, and so I put another blush in, and it was the Avon Smooth Minerals in Blushing Mauve. I didn't have very much left in my update. If you want to check that out, I'll try and link it down below. Um, but I didn't have very much left, and this is all gone. It was at 27 grams. It's now at 26 grams with, like, just this. Um, so I'm very excited, and... More blush has been used up. A blush is gone out of my collection, which is really exciting. Um, I also had a highlight and low light in here. Both of them were the from the Becca highlight and low light palette, I believe. This was the highlight. It was a golden kind of highlight. I don't know if you can, so I can get a little bit. Just looked like that. Um, it's a really pretty color. I just prefer more silver toned um, or white toned highlighters than this gold. And I prefer um, powder to cream highlights. So I'm very happy this is gone. It was um, at six grams in March and now it's at four grams with just the packaging. So I'm just, I weigh them even if they're finished just to see how much product I actually did use. Um, this other is the low light and I'm again very excited to share with you that it is gone so I'm very excited that both these are gone this was oh excuse me the other one was five grams and it went to four this was six grams and it went to four so both of them went to four grams uh, but this start this is the one that started at six grams I was looking at my paper wrong which is below me so uh, again this is a cream bronzer again I prefer um, powder bronzers but, and it was pretty dark. I was able to blend it in, but I, like I said, I just prefer powder ones, so I'm very happy that both of these are gone. Stick those in my empties. The next thing is a cream shadow, which um, I believe this is the Physician's Formula in silver. Um, it just looks like this, and it is all gone. So I'm really excited about that as well, just to continue to work through things. Um, and yeah, so that was gone. It was at um, 14 grams and then it was at 13 grams. And I couldn't remember if I, sometimes I can't remember if I weigh it with the lids or without, um, but cream eyeshadow isn't something I'm, um, my goal isn't with the amount of product with um, bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. My goal is like amount of product to use up this year, um, but with these, it is just sheer product. Next thing is something I didn't finish up, and it's because I lost it. And if you watch my, I think. Pan that palette I talked about it my vlog channel talks about it but our bathroom was quarantined for a little bit like two weeks um so I haven't worked on that but I'm going to continue working on this it is the covergirl wet slicks amazement and unwind it's with all my lips right now and I think I'm just going to keep it with my makeup and then just put it on with my makeup in the morning and then I will have another lip gloss in my June um, project pan to work on like and take it with me but I think this one's just going to stay in my drawer because I really want to work through these um, and the one that I'm working on I colored purple because um, I do have a, a quite a few of those I believe lip gloss it might be the next I can't decide if I want to do lip gloss or lipstick but it will be coming both of those will be coming up in my makeup or my beauty inventory so check that out because I have too many of those um the next thing is this eyeliner. Again, it was in the bathroom um, when all this was happening. It wasn't like out. Um, it was like in the container, so it was fine. Um, 
but it was this color trend in dark brown. It went from two grams, and I believe it's still at two grams, but I did use um, some product up. So there's, I was on March 19th, and here I am on the, it's the 31st of May, actually today, not the 1st of June, but um, yeah, so those were all of my products in my March project pan. I cannot believe that I've not updated you on this and I so apologize. I love doing these monthly project pans but it was kind of fun to go back and see like what I picked um, because I do for the most part um, like I really wasn't using another eyeliner. Um, I just wasn't wearing eyeliner in those weeks. Um, lip products I was trying to just because I know I have a lot of lip products and I was trying to use them, like just use different ones. Um, but I like using consistent products and seeing progress, which I'm really excited about. So like I said, Thursday's video will be my empties for the last couple months. And then we will get back to June project pan on in one week next Tuesday. Saturday, there should be a makeup inventory up. I'm really trying to stay on track with these videos. So I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if those are videos that you sound like are interested to you. I hope you did enjoy. Like the video if you did. Let me know if you have any if you have any questions or anything like that. You can leave it down below and I'll talk to you later. Bye.